Hi there guys, welcome to issue 51, Warhammer Conquest. We've got one big sprue of scenery, and we've got the magazine. Magazine first, we'll build this in a minute. So what we've got today? Hematrope reactor, which is this lovely thing. Um, information about the salamander chapter, and heretic Astartes. So, in this issue, this issue comes with your biggest terrain kit yet, the Hematrope Reactor. This model is so big that even your Redemptive Dreadnought can hide behind it. Don't worry, painting big models is easier than small ones in many ways. And following our detailed guides, we'll have, you built, we'll have yours built and painted quickly and easily. Hematrope Reactors are designed to bring power to the war-torn areas of the, of the Imperium. Its rules allow your warriors to shelter behind it in your games, but at a, at a risk. Like many of your other train kits, stray shots can cause an explosion that will hurt sheltering soldiers. You'll use these rules to full effect in an exciting mission that sees the Death Guard attacking your new reactor. Happy hobbying. Okay, so what have we got today? We've got salamanders, finding out about them. We've got more history, Dark Imperium, discover the dark history of the Imperium's recent calamities. 40k Factions 2.2, Heretic Astartes. And more on Factions 2.2 as a showcase. A collection of expertly painted, painted Heretic Astartes miniatures. How to build a hematope, rea hematope reactor. How to paint it. Then rules terrain number 9. How to get this into play. And then rules mission 35. The Death Guard attempt to sabotage a hematope reactor. Power surge. Okay, so that's good. So let's get through this. Um, salamanders, born on a world of fire, the Salamanders are one of the most storied and respected space marine chapters in the entire Imperium. Salamanders are one of the first founding chapters, established by the Emperor and later led by their Primarch Vulcan. Their chapter planet, Nocturne, is a harsh world of soaring mountains and lava flows. This environment has hardened citizens of Nocturne, making them excellent recruits for the Salamanders. So that's cool, very cool. So I like them, kind of this green, um, the green armor. I think they look, I think they look really cool when you've got a, a kind of large army of them. Okay, forty k history nine, Dark Imperium. As the Astronomicon begins to return across some of the sections of the galaxy, the true scale of the Great Rift's impact upon reality becomes clear. Alien warlords emerge from the depths of space to wreak havoc and vengeance upon the Imperium, whilst the forces of chaos run right across the stars. Heroes of the Imperium are tested as never before. So that's very cool. Then we've got Heretic Astartes. The Heretic Astartes, also known as the Chaos Space Marines, are fearsome foes. They have a Space Marine abilities, along with his gear of war. But since turning to the darker powers, many also bear powerful mutations or gifts from their patron Chaos Gods, making them mightier still. Now, I like the look of Heretic Astartes. I've been thinking about you know, buying a few models to see if, the, uh, see if I could start getting a, a little army going. I'm still thinking about it. I think the new stuff that's come out, I really like. I know some people hate it, um, but I think it looks good, so I'm still thinking about it. Okay, and so here we've got some more lore and that sort of stuff. There is the Heretic Astarte Showcase, which I will show you a few of the models. Right. Let's have a look at some of these. So, I know I'll never be, be able to paint as good as this stuff, but it's impressive, very impressive. Okay, right, back to it. Okay, more, more dioramas and that kind of th thing. Oh, did I miss a page? Did I miss a page? No, I didn't. Okay, how to build hematrope reactor how to paint it. So in the painting, I'm not painting it today, so basically lead belcher plus known oil. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Highlighting with, or sorry, some layering with Celestial Grey and Death Guard Green. Retributor Armour, 
on some of the dials. Necron compound, dry brush. Yeah, more celestial grey, Abaddon black. Yeah, so cool. So when you have painted as much as paint will allow that we've, we've collected from the game so far, it should look something like that, which is nice. Okay, rules. So terrain number nine. That is all about our hematrope reactor. The hematrope reactor you have received with this issue has its own set of rules for use in your games of Warhammer 40,000. In this section, we break down exactly how they function on the battlefield and give you some examples of the terrain in action. Okay, so it shows where to place it on the map. Hazardous cover. Roll a d6 each time you make a saving throw of seven plus, which is a roll of six plus one for being in cover. For a model within three inch of any terrain features with this ability in the shooting phase. On a one, the model's unit suffers one mortal wound. Now, so not nitpicking, but it's impossible to get a one on this because you're rolling a d6 and you're getting plus one for um, for being in cover. So it should be from a two up, really. Um, just nitpicking, but yeah, you're wrong. Anyway, okay, regulator rules. Below are some examples of, of the hematope reactor's rules in play. Read for the examples to ensure you understand how the rules work. Um, so obscured models only receive cover from the hematope reactor if at least 25% of each model in the unit is obscured. From this angle, at least 25% of every plague marine in the unit is obscured, so the entire unit will benefit from cover when targeted by enemy fire. Okay, interesting. Okay, then we've got our mission, Power Surge. With the Ultramarines forces divided to deal with the Chaos Cultist uprisings, the Death Guard have launched a devastating attack on the Space Marines' positions. Their goal is, a sab is to sabotage... Sab their goal is to sabotage several hematope reactors and begin a chain reaction that will destroy half of the city. Okay, so we have got the Death Guard Assault aims to capture and overload the hematrope reactor. To do so, they must eliminate the Space Marines and take control of the objective. The attackers caught the Ultramarines off guard. They must hold the objective and hope reinforcements arrive in time to win the day. Okay, so there's the Space Marines deployment zone with the hematrope reactor already in there. Space Marines deploy two of their units onto the board at the start of the game. At the start of any of their movement phases, the Space Marines player can bring on their remaining units as reinforcements. They deploy by moving into their deployment zone from either board edge. So... The Death Guard is Lord Felthius, the Tainted Cohort, the Chaos Rhino, five Plague Marines and twelve Poxwalkers up against Captain in Gravis Armour, five Intercessors, three Aggressors, three Hellblasters and two Inceptors. So there's the deployment zones. Um, Space Marine player deploys their units first, Death Guard then deploys all of their units. Death Guard player takes the first turn and the victory conditions are Eliminate the enemy law. Eliminate the enemy warlord is one victory point. The objective is the hematrope reactor. Hold the objective for three victory points. To hold an objective, you must have more models than any enemy within three inches of it at the end of the game. The game lasts for five battle rounds. Okay, so that's that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, your next conquests. So Astro Granite, which is in issue 52, which I've already got. So that'll be coming up very soon. Um, another Space Marine bike in issue 53, which I know is at the newsagent. So I'll be picking it up tomorrow. So basically, if you're watching this the day it comes out, by tomorrow night, you'll, be, you'll have issues 52 and 53 uploaded. So that's very good. So let's... Let's build this sucker and have a look. Okay, there we have it. So, this is um, not the largest piece of terrain we've had so far. It says that in the magazine, but it's not. Um, 
So things like we had a big crane and that kind of thing. Not crane, it was like a big air, uh, like big construction vehicle, um, which is bigger than this. But anyway, I think it's a really cool piece of scenery. Uh, I think the rules are interesting as well. Um, so, you know, use it as cover, but, you know, there may be a cost. So, yeah, I like it. It's a good issue. Very good issue. But that is it. So that has been issue 51. I'll see you very soon for issue 52. See ya.